It's Cisco back at Singapore Comic Con 2019 to show you the incredible display of collectibles that's here at the XM Studios booth. A huge thanks to Spec Fiction for helping me get here today. They stock the whole range of XM stuff on their website and they ship to the US and worldwide. So I'll put a link in the description for those of you guys who are looking to order. And I'll start here with the new Thanos and Mistress Death. Uh, this is just an incredible looking statue. Have a look at the base. Loads of detail. Here's Thanos with a screaming portrait. And um, I love the way they did this gauntlet. Gems are nice and shiny. Nice detail on the suit. Looks fantastic. And here's a look at Mistress Death. Beautiful portrait. And um, these two are separate and they just kind of connect at the back there so you can buy them together or separately. Beautiful looking piece. All right, and then here is the back of Thor and the Red Hulk. I'll get around to the front of them in a little bit. Here's the new Iron Spider-Man. So the um, mechanical arms are fully metal. They are big and they are heavy. Some beautiful detail on the suit. And uh, here's a look at the base. Really, really nice. And then here is the Green Goblin. Great looking portrait. He's holding a pumpkin bomb in this hand. And uh, he's up on the glider. Here's a look at the face. You can see the detail um, on the suit. There's a couple of swap out heads for this one as well. And here is the bust. So there's uh, also two versions of Deadpool here this year. So um, one with like a comic book frame and one without. So I'll get around to the other one in a little bit. Here's a bit of a look at Mr. Deadpool. So he's on a carousel unicorn. I love the, um, the wood texture on the base. There's little bits of dynamite. So he's hopping over the unicorn, got the rubber chicken. I love this. I actually like it even better with the uh, comic book frame. So I'll get around to that in a little bit. Um, these are the LBS uh, Legendary Beast Studio statues. Um, so this is the back of their uh, two different versions of Spider-Man. Um, and the front of the, uh, this is 1-8 scale, I believe, Juggernaut. So he's crashing through. You can see the uh, Xavier School for Gifted Children. Let's see if I can get the face for you guys. Great looking statue. Here is the Magneto, one third scale. This is the gritted teeth portrait. There's also a closed mouth um, and a helmetless portrait as well. Um, fantastic body sculpt on this guy. Very nice. This is the Captain America. Um, I did ask, this one's a production piece. So this is shipping really soon. Um, he has come out absolutely outstanding. Give you a look at the beautiful paint job. I love 
love what they've done with this base. Much darker color than last year. It really sets off the blues and the reds. There's a shield. Uh, lots of different posing options on this too, but um, it's just magnificent. There's a shot of the three of them together. So here's the Thor. Again, fantastic portrait. Really chiseled um, body sculpt. And then um, this base. So uh, like tells a story as it goes around. You've got Thor here. You've got Loki. Uh, there's a wolf, goes around this side. Here's the back of the cape, beautiful cape. Um, I think this one is a real winner, guys. I really do. I love this line. All right, and next up we've got, um, actually I'll swing around here and um, finish off Marvel with the X-Men. So we've got Sabretooth up here. Definitely one of my favorites from the X-Men line. Um, looks a lot bigger in person. Looks kind of small in photos, but it's nice and chunky. Love the face. And he's kind of leaping off uh, with his arms out. Looks awesome. Uh, just waiting to get in here for uh, Emma Frost, White Queen. She has come out absolutely stunning. So is there like a marble effect on the base? She's standing on this chair. She is beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, we've got uh, Professor X in the hover chair. Love this one. The um, the gold uh, absolutely pops. Makes look. Um, really stand out in a collection. Then we've got the new Ultron. So he's got his mouth open these like multiple arms going on. Then we have Scarlet Witch. So her portraits had a tweak from last year and um, I definitely think it's an improvement. So there's uh, Ultron on the base. Um, beautiful shiny work um, on the red parts, dark red parts of the suit. And then, uh, so her face has some more intensity this year, and um, I think this looks fantastic. Love the energy effects around her hands. I think she's beautiful. Uh, here is Colossus. Try and give you a bit of a size comparison between a few pieces. Um, he's big. portrait. Uh, so he's holding these cables, about to throw uh, this sentinel eye. Got the cracked glass. That looks great. Uh, pretty sure these cables are actually metal. They look really, really nice. Here's the base.
love it. Okay, and here's Magic. Uh, so this is her pretty portrait. There's also one with the horns. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that later. So she's holding the, um, the sword behind her back. It's got flames coming up around it. And uh, it's like a sentinel uh, hand. It's the skulls. The base looks amazing. And then she's got the sword in the other hand. I really like this one, but I prefer it with the horn portrait, um, to be honest. Hope to show you that later. And then uh, we've got the X-23. So this is the unmasked portrait. There is a masked one too. Really like this unmasked portrait though. So she's leaping off um, like, a, like a banged up Jeep. Hoping they'll do like a Logan to go with this. Nice. All right, um, so swing around here and get you the front of Thor and Red Hulk. So this is the new Thor. So he's battling a destroyer on the base. Base is so cool on this. Really, really cool. So really, really intense portrait. So he's uh, swinging Mjolnir, you can see it there, uh, behind his head. I love the detail on the uh, wings of the helmet. Really, really nice. I think if you want like an action Thor, uh, this will do the trick. I really like it. All right, and then here is the re-sculpted Red Hulk. Uh, he was a bit too big last year, uh, sort of one third scale almost. So he's been um, sculpted down again to one quarter scale, but he is still huge and imposing. You can see the rips in the jeans here. So this was all hand sculpted, guys. It looks great. Sandbags. And um, the, like torn up road. I think he looks great. Look how big he is there next to Thor. And Thor is huge. Really, really nice. Right, and then here's Deadpool with the comic book frame. So uh, on this one, he's got these like rocket skates on. I love those. So uh, he's jumping over the carousel horse and um, through this kind of frame. So it says chimichangas, wahoo, and then to be continued. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like very three dimensional with him like jumping out through the frame. I think that's really, really cool. Oh, and um, yeah, so he's got a grenade in his mouth. <laughs> I think this version with the frame comes with uh, some extra heads and things and the, and the rocket skates. All right, and then we've got the front of the uh, LBS Spideys. So there's one here. Um, again, these are one eight scale guys. So these are uh, small, but like uh, lots going on with the bases. There's one here with um, a sort of solid explosion and then one here with a clear resin explosion that's got a light up in it. So I guess you can uh, take your pick which one you want to order. All right, and then uh, we've got Transformers and then uh, lots of DC stuff uh, down the end. So uh, plenty more to go, guys. We've got Rimlock here. Um, this thing is crazy big. Um, it's like 40 inches wide or something like that. So he's got uh, light ups in the eyes. Uh, 
Uh, if you know me, guys, you know I know nothing about Transformers, but um, this is like stupid cool. Shotgun thing. Um, be aware, you're gonna need a lot of space if you're getting this. I'll try and get the back for you guys because this thing is just super detailed. Wow. Wow. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. It's like saw blade thing. Um, but definitely got to get his uh, like dino pal. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, and then we've got uh, Bumblebee. And uh, here's the like little uh, buggy as well. And then here's Bumblebee. Light ups again. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. Uh, and then we've got the back of Soundwave here. I'll have to uh, get that a little later. This is the 12 inch line. These are little uh, museum posed um, versions. So there's like silver, and then there's one that's gold at the front there. Maybe that's an exclusive. And that'll say it on here. Then we got Starscream. Still one of my favorites of this line. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Jet. And then we've got the back of uh, Megatron. Uh, I don't know which one this is, guys. I'll have to see when I get around to the front. And then Optimus Prime. And then uh, we've got the Acme Studio stuff. Um, and the Hellboy. I might uh, come back and do all of those um, towards the end. So we're getting towards DC stuff here. Um, this is the Iron Maiden Eddie that's been painted. So it's the China Tour Eddie. For you uh, Iron Maiden fans, I'm sure you'll know which one that is. Um, beautiful colors, oh my god. Uh, the sort of like metallic gold and the blues, holy crap. It just looks phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that, that's so cool. That is freaking cool. Alrighty, and then one of the main events at this show, uh, for me anyway, the fully painted Justice League versus Darkseid diorama. Um, I'm not gonna mince words, guys. Uh, I think this is a masterpiece. Um, the painted version has come out so nicely. Um, it's bright and colorful. but still uh, Thanos has a, a nice dark kind of feel, if you know what I mean. Um, but then the colors of uh, all the heroes just uh, pop all around him. Try and get you a look at everyone. It's dark side in the middle. Got soups. Got Aquaman up there on the wave. I'll show you the wave in a sec, it looks amazing. Batman with the gun. We've got Wonder Woman here. Got Green Lantern. Flash, Martian Manhunter. Uh, I'll do a longer video on this later, guys. Um, check out this wave on Aquaman, though. That is so cool. That is freaking sweet. All right, and then there is a uh, like faux bronze version as well. So a bit more of a museum looking piece. Uh, than the colored version. So it's got like a kind of weathered bronze effect. It's come out really nice. Really, really nice. All right, and then we have the new Nightwing from the Samurai Batman line. Um, maybe even the best in this whole line. This just looks amazing. Get you closer in on the portrait. Great portraits. There's three portraits and they all look amazing. So he's pulling the arrow out of the quiver there. And uh, he's got this uh, futuristic looking bow. 
Um, the armor is just beautiful. Wow. And then this base. The like stone ogre. I love this. I love this. All right, and then we'll have a quick look at uh, Robin and Harley. And then we have a ton of uh, new 160C pieces. So here's Robin. He's got the uh, cloak with the hood. And a sword and a batarang. And he's on this big bell. Some poison ivy vines on it as well. It's really nice. And then we've got Harley. You can see she's got some light ups on the base here. She's on a moped. She's got like a geisha painted face. Alrighty, um, might swing over here because there's a new Batman and a new Catwoman I want to show you guys. So here's the new 1-6 Catwoman. So she's got the whip going up behind her. She's got the cat as well. And the gargoyle on the base. And uh, she's with, so these are the Rebirth uh, line. So uh, here's the Rebirth Batman. Um, I really like how this has come out. I really love the flow of the cape. So he's kind of uh, whipping it with one hand and it's coming out the other side. And it's got these like beautiful purple tones um, inside it. I think it looks uh, fantastic. <laughs> See if I can get you a better look. Really nice, really nice. Okay, then we've got the uh, Joker and the Harley. Sorry guys, I will get that in focus for you in a second. Start with the base then. So he's on this like uh, clockwork little tank, holding the teeth. Oh. Sorry guys, it just doesn't want to do it today. No, <laughs> very sorry. Here's Harley. So uh, she's coming out of this uh, box. Got the two hyenas. She's swinging the mallet. Really fun piece. Then we've got the Batman Hush. Sorry. I really like this one. The uh, Gravestone. RIP Jason Todd. And then this is the um, Bloodstorm. Traditionally sculpted Batman. And we've got Deathstroke. Jumping off the big cannon. Then we've got Red Death. So this is a new one at this show. Uh, love the bats coming off him. They look fantastic. So it's like a busted up car on the base. Looks great. Really beautiful. All right, then we've got the painted up Batman sanity piece. My first time seeing it painted and I'm blown away. Love, 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 love this piece. So you've got Batman in the middle, surrounded by all of the villains. I love 
love the uh, the clear dome on um, Freeze. Two Face in there. That's uh, just uh, that's just incredible. I just love it. Give you a couple of looks at different angles. I mean, this is an entire DC collection in one. This is just um, incredible. Alrighty, uh, we've got more DC over here. Uh, so I'll start with the new Green Lantern piece. So this is Jessica Cruz. Beautiful face on her. She's got like an axe and the energy effect on the base. Really, really nice. So she's next to the Green Lantern. Uh, here's kind of how they look together. Go really well together. Then we have Aquaman. And then the new uh, mirror. So here's a look at them together. Love the base on this with the eels. Here's Flash uh, running on the treadmill. And then Wonder Woman. And Cyborg. And then I gotta swing around and get to I uh, get to Lobo and Doomsday. So here's Lobo on the bike. The uh, bike's lit up today, that's nice. He's throwing dog. Awesome, awesome statue. I've filmed this a few times, but uh, I still love it. Here we go, Doomsday. Super detailed sculpt, I love this. You can see the uh, Daily Planet uh, logo kind of on the base. Look at that, great pose on him. Sorry guys, there we go. Focus on the face. Looks great. Here is Supergirl. Really pretty face. Very nice. And then here is uh, Darkseed. It's got all the uh, heroes trophies on the base. Holding Superman's cape, grinning. Looks fantastic. All right, here's Superman. So he's floating over the Fortress of Solitude. You can see the uh, feet aren't touching the base. Great. And then we've got uh, Black Adam and Shazam. Love the bass on this. Here's Black Adam. So uh, the um, they're in a similar pose. So uh, he's got an open fist, uh, open hand while Shazam's got a fist. Um, and there's like an Anubis on his base. Oh, that is so cool. Love these like Egyptian themed bases. A 
angry looking portrait. That's very cool. Righty guys, and then uh, one of the main events of the show here. <laughs> Brian's trying to keep it from you, but I won't let him. <laughs> we have a uh, 140th scale Batman. 130th scale. 130th scale Batman on throne in an entire Batcave. Check that out. <laughs> Everything is customizable. You can replace things wherever you want. You can decorate on Batcave. You can shift the whole room somewhere else. You can do a higher Batcave, a wider Batcave. Everything is customizable. Look at this. You can even open it. That is so cool. I hope you guys are hearing that. He said you can customize this entire Batcave any way you like. You can change the rooms around. You can move all these parts around. There's all the different different suits. Uh, there'll be different vehicles. Um, so you can uh, position this Batcave, uh, like, uh, um, Batman with the consoles, any way you like. Um, you can have ladders. You can have walkways connecting them. Um, there'll be a bat boat that can go in here. Yeah, that you can have a dock for the bat wing. Uh, this is just insane, guys. Uh, definitely gonna do a whole video just on this to try and explain all the different things you can do with it because it's honestly incredible. I'm totally blown away. Yeah. Totally blown away. The lights are, are just for, uh, for prototyping purposes. Right? Yeah. The final lights will all be hidden into the system itself. You yeah. can see that these are all removable. So you can uh, remove things, move them around, change them. So you can even take off the cap. So there are little panels that come off. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to show you. But uh, so you can put the ladders anywhere you want. Yeah. So you can uh, connect all these little platforms, put them in different places, uh, connect them with ladders. Yeah. So super cool. And uh, the lights will be integrated, uh, they're just prototypes at the moment, but the lights will be uh, integrated into uh, the final product. Yeah, so you can like leave things around and stuff And like uh, that. this is all modular, so you can make it bigger, you can make it taller. It's crazy guys, it's crazy. It's amazing. I love it. Definitely going to show you more on this later. Alright, cheers Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, we've got the Acme Studios stuff still to go, and then a couple more Transformers guys. So, hold on, it's starting to get busy. Okay, here we go with uh, one of my favorite pieces at the booth. This is the Acme Studios Hellboy. So it comes in a colored version or a bronze. I'll get around and show you the bronze as well. Uh, but here we go. Uh, so you can have him in two different poses. Um, you can have one with the sword or you can have one with the pistol. And you can have horns or no horns. I uh, definitely want to focus on this because uh, I want to show you the, the nice shading and paintwork that's kind of replicating the Mignola style. There we go. See the great um, shading? I think they did a fantastic job trying to replicate uh, the look of the Mignola comics. See he's got little pouches. And here's the base, skulls, chains, statue falling over. I love this, I love it. All right, let me show you the bronze one. The bronze one came out great, actually, I love it. Uh, I love the tone of bronze that they went with. Uh, but it really suits the sort of uh, cell shaded style this kind of bronze because it looks chiseled, if you know what I mean. Uh, love it, love it, love it. I'll get a little shot of the two so you can kind of see the difference. Shame they're not facing the same way. Uh, there's the back and the tail. Have a quick look. Alrighty, and then we got Storm Riders. No idea what these are, guys, uh, but they're both on dragons and they're freaking cool. Uh, this base is like the size of the dark side diorama. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. It's stupid big. Um, so we got this guy on the top. 
got a tattoo, that's cool. And a sword. And then he's riding like a cyborg dragon. I don't know, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. So on this side, it's all like um, metal spikes and stuff. And then I'll see if I can get you a shot of the other side. Uh, the other side's like, actually I might have to walk around, I'm sorry. I gotta show you, because it's really cool. So the other side is all like scales and spikes and stuff. See the teeth there and all the scales. It's very cool. I mean, it's big, but it's very cool. So uh, he's kind of in this leaping pose. Wow, it's just, it's big, it's big. All right, I'll get around and show you the other one. All right, here we go. Uh, this one's wind and cloud, apparently. So you got the stoic looking guy on top. I like his hair sculpt. He's got the sword. And again, riding this really cool dragon. Love this dragon. It's up on some flames. Oh, there's another portrait here as well, guys, with a uh, eye patch. So he's on the flames. That is sweet. There's the two together. All right, and then we've got a couple of transformers here. So Optimus Prime, seen this one a few times. Still looks great. Ah, oh, he's got the arm with the light up, um, little light up, I couldn't tell you what it is, a little gizmo that lights up coming out of his arm. That's very cool. And he's got the truck. Nice. Ah, oh, this one is Nemesis Prime. It has a name tag. Yay! Very cool looking. Is this an evil version of Prime? Nemesis Prime? I don't know. So we've got the headlights. He's got his hand up like, look, looking like he's maybe evil. Going more ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> Then we got Megatron. He's looking more sinister. I like the light ups. And then we got a couple more of the 12 inch. Oh, and then we got Soundwave. The 12 inch stuff. We got a sound wave. It's got a little bird guy, that's cool. Ah, oh, there's this guy down here too. Really, really nice. This is a beautiful line. I think that is absolutely everything at the XM Studios booth at uh, STGCC 2019. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys if you made it all the way to the end. Um, don't forget, uh, I'll have a link in the description to um, Spec Fiction's online store if you guys want to order anything. They've got all the uh, pre-order uh, info up there. You can RSVP uh, if things aren't up for order yet. Um, and they've got cool uh, payment plans and all that kind of stuff. All right guys uh thank you so much if you made it all the way through this video i really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys next time okay cheers